Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Peace Consumer YouTube channel. You know, some wise person, well, we think certainly wise person said that there is nothing in the world that's certain but death and taxes. So today, you're going to hear a story related to taxes told to us by Dwayne and his dealings with the company called Jackson Hewitt. Without further ado, please enjoy the video and stay tuned for more. Fifteen, I decided uh, I was uh, my girlfriend and I um, started living together, and I had been doing my own taxes for decades. And I figured let's let a professional do it. Uh, you know, the, we were kind of in Texas; laws are a little different. Uh, so I just wanted to see, you know, what was available. So uh, 2015 for the 2014 year, uh, went ahead and had uh, Jackson view it, do our taxes. And everything went pretty well. Um, I later in that year actually got a bill for I think two hundred and some odd dollars of some interest or something. It's pretty basic. And I went, you know what? It's two hundred dollars. I'm not going to raise a stink about it. Uh, so then I go back the next year um, for 2016 in the year 2017 uh, for my 2016 taxes. And again, the Obama. I had changed jobs. Uh, Obamacare, um, you know, very confusing for people that had to provide their own health, health insurance. I'm like, you know what? Let's do this again because I, I'm not, I'm a, not an expert. So I go there, sit down with the same person I dealt with last year. He actually remembered me. I have that personality, and we went through everything. I told him about my job change. I told him uh, and showed him obviously all, all my documentation, and then talked about the healthcare uh, piece. Uh, after you went through everything, he said my tax refund was going to be sixteen thousand dollars, which floored my wife and I. Um, we, you know, we're like, "Are you sure?" We went through all the documentation, and 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 I'm like, "Well, is it because I'm working from home now? Because that was the with my job change, I was able to work from home, and I couldn't figure out, you know, what the difference was." He goes, "Oh, well, it's because of Obamacare. That's obviously why that is." So we're like. Okay, so we got the the, the sixteen thousand dollar check. Yeah, got the sixteen thousand dollar check, and we, um, you know, put it in savings, and then we said, hey, let's uh, you know go ahead and uh, upgrade our, our wedding, and you know, spend it a little bit. You know, it's it's uh, you know, it's, we had a professional do it. So uh, that year, um, you know, came to an end, and we're like, okay, well, we're gonna expect to get sixteen thousand dollars next year. Nothing's changed. I'm still working from home. My wife is still doing her job nothing, I mean, nothing's changed. So we go and we sit down and um, the, uh, the the new tax person, they had replaced uh, uh, Justin. Um, and uh, she said, oh, okay, you owe us $2,500. <laughs> we're shocked because we're like, what, what could have happened between this year and last year? And um, she's like, well, this is just the way it is. I, I, I don't know. So uh, I start uh, investigating. I call the main office and uh, finds out or turns out that Justin did not enter in a W-2 from my previous employer when I worked from home that he had all the information on that we talked about. And um, I went, oh, crap. Uh, and then uh, when I went back to the other the office, she said, uh, well, just go ahead and hold on to it. Just pretend nothing happened and you'll probably get away with it. And I'm like, no, that's not the way you do things. So I kept pressing the issue and uh, talked to uh, Shauna and uh, said, hey, you know, we got to figure what this is and, and all that. And she's like, well, we can go ahead and do an amended 1040X and go from there. And um, as we're going through, she's saying, oh, my gosh, he messed up this. He messed up this. He messed up. And actually, I recorded this part of the conversation. I, was, I didn't record the first conversation because I had no idea this was going to happen. And then as I started getting into it, I'm like, you know what? I just probably need to record this. Um, so anyway, as I'm talking with Shauna, who's the branch manager, um, she uh, says, okay, well, Justin messed up here, here, here. Let me fix these issues. Um, and, and, I, and I was like, okay, so you're going to like help with, you know, fees or whatever. And before I even really started talking about that, she goes, look, before you even go there, uh, our attorneys are better than you. You'll never see a dime from us. <laughs> And I'm like, well, that's interesting. I wasn't going to go there, but I figured, you know, like you guys made a mistake, own up to it and, you know, help out. And she's like, well, here's an 800 number to the IRS and just hold on to the money and use that to negotiate. And I'm like, I I'm not doing that. 
that's not, I mean, that's not how I do business. I don't hold money or hold this and, and it's just not it. So anyway, um, so I went ahead and paid the taxes along with my 2017 tax bill because it had gone on, on a few months and, you know, paid it on, on well, a year late, but on time or whatever. Uh, 2017 was paid on time, like April 13th. But anyway, um, so then I start getting uh, bills in the mail and I figured, because I had paid the amount that was due back in 2015. And I figured, okay, well, you know, we're good. Um, I'll wait to hear from them. We'll go from there. And they're like, okay, well, you owe us an additional six or $7,000 and you owe us this and this and this. And I'm like, oh boy. So I go back to Shauna and she's like, nah, I mean, you're on your own. Um, you know, I, we did, we did what we're going to do for you. Okay. So I start researching tax law and how to handle abatements and all that other stuff. And basically all the research on my own and figured out that, uh, for consumers, if you make an honest mistake and you're a good taxpayer, they'll give you a, uh, oh, forgot the word. Uh, they give you a, like a one kind of a one-time free freebie where you don't pay penalties. You still have to pay interest, but not penalties, which is about $6,000. So I dealt with their uh, main tax off or the main uh, IRS attorney, and then they're one out of uh, Utah and went ahead and worked out an agreement and they went ahead and waived my taxes. So I had paid my taxes faithfully for the last 30 years of my life. So I'd never had an issue in, well, until I started using Jackson Hewitt. Uh, the two years I use them is when I get in trouble. Um, so anyway, um, so I went ahead and they went ahead and uh, took it to court and wrote off the $6,000 or gave me the whatever, the one-timer. Uh, and then I got a letter in the mail about three months later saying they're going to levy my bank account and take my house and you know, all that fun stuff. Uh, Cause I owed, I owed like $610 in um, interest over those years. And so I called them. I'm like, I thought, you know, this is how this worked. And this is actually another piece of information Sean had given me that I wouldn't be responsible. But anyway, um, and they said, no, this is the way this works. And, you know, you're, you're, we waive the um, penalties, but not the interest. So I went ahead and cut a check for $610 and sent into them. Um, and I went, you know what? I, I, I Jackson Hewitt didn't want to, I mean, didn't want to step up and at least help me navigate this. They had acknowledged it was their fault, not mine. It wasn't me. Um, so they should at least, you know, I'm, I'm not asking for a hand. I'm saying, hey, help me. I'm not a tax person. I'm a regular guy. Um, not anymore because I know tax law now, but, uh, anyway, uh, they, they wouldn't do it. So I had to figure it out on my own and, uh, you know, go through all that. And anyway, I, uh, you know, paid the taxes and then I submitted a, uh, my review and I went through all the detail. I included screenshots. So it's not my opinion. It's not anything. It's factually what happened. Um, and then, uh, so then I get a, uh, someone responded on there saying, oh, hey, I'm sorry it happened. Give us a call. And we'll fix it for you. And I'm like, okay. So I call them and I get their main 800 number. No one knows what's going on. And then I get a call back from the branch manager, not uh, uh, not Shauna, but I think her name is Maria something, who's trying to like feel me out a little bit and and trying to like get me to take down my, and I did record this, but try to get me to take down my thing because she was confused and they don't do that. And it's just so you know, wrong and whatever else. I said, all the facts are there. You actually, she has more access to information than I do because she has all the forms and everything. There was no, I wasn't trying to get away with anything. And so she's like, so I can't change your mind that we couldn't like, you know, work something out. And I'm like, no. <laughs> um, and that, and she's like, all right, well, we'll have someone get back to you. And that was it. I haven't heard from since. So my whole thing is this is what Jackson Hewitt did to, you know, average consumer person, $16,000 I had to pay back, which I obviously, I'm not too many people have 16,000. I'd went through a divorce a year prior to that and then things like that. So financially did not have the money to do that, but I ended up, you know, finding the money, you know, I had to take out a loan actually, uh, in order to, uh, not go to, not go to jail and not be able to take care of my three kids. But anywho, whole different story. Uh, but anyway, that's in a nutshell, that is pretty much uh, my story. Well, now, looking back at the whole situation, if we assess everything that was done and what's not done by Jackson Hewitt, what would you say upsets you the most? Actually, that comment, our attorneys are better than you. Um, that was the big one. The Well, it was that and also asking me to defraud the government. 
I mean, I'm not a fan of the government. Let me be the first to say that. But I understand taxes have to be paid. I, and I, I mean, I get those things. I'm, you know, I'm very, I get that. But when I'm told by professionals to to not send the money that I owe them to them, that's that's wrong. I'm, they're asking me to get away with something, and I, that's something I don't believe in. I actually, in my, when I was a young, when I was younger, I used to be a debt collector. So that idea of, you know, of getting something for nothing always made me mad. I mean, you had people that had hardships and issues and they should be worked with. And you had people that try to get away with stuff. And I don't like those kinds of people. And they were asking me to be that person. And then when Shauna told me not to send the $16,000 in uh, and wait and, you know, negotiate with their attorneys and do all sorts of stuff on my own, they weren't offering to help. Um, I'm like, that's not how I do stuff. That's, that's, yeah. So. What if Shauna or Maria or whoever else is in there that was talking to you went back to their old files, reviewed your situation, re-reviewed, and decided, hey, you know, we wronged Devane over here. Let's do something to compensate him for all the wrongdoings. Is there anything they can offer you or do for you at this time? Oh, at this time? No. I mean, it's... The, the amount of time has gone by. They're doing this to cover themselves. And at this point, I want people to know what happened to Joe Consumer and make that decision. I'm not telling people not to use Jackson Hewitt. I mean, they do taxes, I'm sure, pretty good. But when they screw up, which we're all human, this is how they chose to handle it. If they, you know, and I don't, and at this point, no amount of money is going to help me, um, you know, change my mind. I mean, that would be the right thing to do. But as far as like having turning it into, hey, if we give you, you know, 500 bucks or whatever, you'll take down your um, your Google uh, item. No, people. I mean, people need to know these things. And I mean, I've had other companies that I've worked with that have tried to do the same thing. And I'm like, no, I mean, you messed up. You should let the world know you should put on there. This is what we did to fix it and let consumers go. Hey, you know what? They screwed up. Here's how they fixed it. I'll do business with these people. I mean, I'm not perfect. You're not. No one's perfect. Do the right thing. And they didn't.